G'day. G'day, mate. How are you, Copper? Good. Good. It's warm today. It's nice. Beautiful. The sun's shining. What time is it? Uh, it's, uh, it's 20 to 8 p.m. I reckon it's Australian 25 degrees Eastern Celsius. Daylight Saving Time. Yeah, it's funny. been a beautiful day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. Uh, we're just continuing on with the Iridium because it's sort of changed my life. It's <laughs> very cool. He does have an affair with it now. And I don't blame him. It sounds great. Most importantly, what it's done for us, because uh, we normally run an amp into a Wazza tube amp expander and out. Mm. Uh, so what this has done is let us run all these full stereo pedals and record them in full stereo. for the Glorious stereo. For the first time, really, because all the... We've only been sending mono signals to the Wazza, but then using the Wazza stereo ability out of that. But you can't plug stereo things into the Wazza, so anyway... Stereo. The Iridium with a Y cable lets you plug in. Phantasmagorical. I've Y cabled. And I've Y cabled the Polymoon into the Mercury 7 and Y cabled the Mercury 7 into the Iridium. Why? Because we like you. We like stereo. Why? Because <laughs> cause it sounds. I mean, you've used it at a gig so far, the Iridium, a couple of gigs, and it sounds great. Yeah, not with this one though. <laughs> No. This is a Voxy sound, which yeah. I've gone for because we're doing delay and reverb. Ooh. Uh, Dare I? No. Uh, so, because we're doing delay and reverb, I thought we'd have a nice sparkly, spanky, chimey box. Sparkle spank. Why not? Super. Why not, he says. Uh, so, this is... Talk to me about Polymoon, Matt. It does so much. It's a delay. What does it do, Matt? It does so much. I can't. We're not going to get through it all in this because we're going to try to keep the videos around 10 minutes. And as you already know, if you're still watching, because you're probably not, um, we talk a lot. Uh, so anyway, without further ado. We're going to try ado, and shut up and play. So yeah. delays that morph into reverbs with a bit of flange. Yep. All right. Stand on it. Go. Cool. Stand it on. Boom. <laughs> Okay, the this mono delay. Yeah, this first one's mono. I'm talking over the tails now, which I'll hate later when I go to edit this. Yes, you will. Uh, so the, there's a couple of different patterns in here. The first one's in mono. Uh, the second one is in, and all the all the rest of them are in stereo. Just the first one's in mono. But check it out. Listen to the difference in the headphones. Please put headphones on, people. Do it. Like and subscribe while you're there. Um, yeah. You get some spatial goodness. Yeah, stereo. you play this. The difference is phenomenal. <laughs> Just slowing it down so you can hear the different steps and the ping pong's a bit better. And that's happened. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm talking over you as well. But yeah, that's that's happening in stereo and I can I can see it happening on the uh, um, on the desk. It's so good. <laughs> I can imagine in a stereo amp setup live as well, that would just be phenomenal. So lush and lovely, but it's got a heap of tricks up its sleeve. So show us some of the tricks, Matt. I'm gonna push the little the, the button on the right hand side, not the push knob, it, push it. The button, and it's gonna turn a flanger on. Yes. On the delays. Yes. All right, here we go. All right. So that first one. In slow mode, it's just no matter what the tap tempo is, it just ticks along at about one cycle a second. That's it. Mm -hmm. 
And then if I push the button again, it makes it sync to the tap. Sync me, Matt. So, because I got the two lights on, it's the sync in the slow mode, which makes it sync to four beats. But if you just have it on sync, it syncs, goes through a full cycle with every tap. So if you tap it in a quicker speed, the cycle goes whew, 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 through it really quick, I say. Slow sync. some weirdness there so full sync tap wow back room all day couldn't you it's, it's glorious and now it also has uh the dimension button dimension yeah wow so what the dimension is going to do is change the delays from a really short sharp delay it's going to smooth them all out into a reverby mush smooth it <laughs> So now we're into reverb territory. And just for the record, a super high quality, delicious sounding reverb. I'm not sure how they've done it. It's glorious. So you can still have the flanger on the reverb. <laughs> Which gives you almost like a synth pad sound. I think you could dial up some some real really original stuff. Uh, Maris, Polly yeah. Moon, Polly Moon. It, it's a beauty. Um, it's got a couple of alternative functions. Just I'll mention really quick. If you hold down the Alt button and turn the knobs, it does a heap of different things. You can change the shape of the flanger. Mm -hmm. uh, if you hold the alt button and put the push the tap tempo button, it changes it from quarter notes to dotted eights, which everybody loves. Yeah. Uh, it does a heap, a heap of different stuff. Poly moon. Stuff. Many faces. Mm. I think there's something in that for all of us. <laughs> mm, good, good. That means progress. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's a cracker. Find one, get it. Play it. Subscribe, like, bye. Bye.